honest, I did not like this week episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta. And I know uh, probably a big part of this is due because we saw so much Drew and Ralph. But let's talk about this season, episode, what, season 15, episode two of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Um, like I said, I am not, I, I, you know what? I realized when I put that review up or like my clips up last week, you black women, <laughs> y'all hate Martell. And I just am so glad that I am like looking at this all through fresh lens because I don't have that preconceived notion of how y'all feel about him. Like y'all act like y'all were Melanie. Like, I don't know what happened on this show and it low key makes me want to watch Huntsville, but y'all just really have a deep hatred for Martell. And I need y'all to like put that in perspective um, as you are watching this season. Like you have to realize that a lot of, well, I'm not gonna say a lot of, but I'm a Real Housewives of Atlanta fan who did not, I've never watched Huntsville. And so this is my first time meeting Martell. And so I am just looking at him purely through the lens of this is Sheree Man. And if you were looking at it through that exact same lens, you will also feel like Kenya is A, blowing this completely out of proportion. You bringing up a DM from something that was literally two years ago. And then... B, it's like, this is your first time meeting her man, like, and y'all gonna act like that? Like, I don't see how y'all don't see that Kenya is also in the wrong. And I also feel like they're just making this into a storyline, and it does not need to be a storyline. Like, it just didn't need to be that. Like, ugh. anyways, also, let's go ahead and talk about Drew and Ralph. Like, all of a sudden, first of all, two things. Why is Ralph on Drew cover of her CD? Like, I mean, I don't, like, we know we talk about Puffy being in the videos, but I ain't never seen that nigga on the cover of Danity Kane albums or anything like that. Like, this is, I don't, like, the energy y'all have for Martell, I need y'all to direct it towards Ralph. Like, all of that anger and, like, hatred, like, how do y'all not see that for Ralph? Like, I just, it's something about, I just do not like this man. Like, I just hate when he's on the screen everything about him seems inauthentic it seems like this year he is more so like trying to monitor himself and make sure that he comes across well um i don't like him and all of, and now all of a sudden you in music nigga i thought you did science or was in corporate america like Ralph reminds me of like this quote that Jay-Z says and it's like fam fame is a hell of a drug and it's like niggas be just wanting to be famous and I think as women you need to be mindful especially if you are in the entertainment field or you have pursuits to be in the entertainment field that you not dating somebody who just want to be on who just want to be a star and they're trying to use you as a launching board because that's exactly what Ralph is y'all talking about Todd and Ralph ass is the fucking opportunist direct the energy towards him <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Um, this issue with Candy and Todd, they opened up another restaurant. Supposedly, it's, you know, I heard that Atlanta is like the wild, wild west. Like, there was a time where I was thinking about, like, I'm gonna move down to Atlanta, but I heard Atlanta has been getting wild. And it said that, you know, they broke the kind of the third wall. Um, Candy didn't really want to talk about it, but I guess like an employee shot her cousin, whatever. I don't, there, there really wasn't much going on with Candy this, this episode. She, you know, the fight sizzled out with the girl. Um, she met with Sandra. Like it was boring. Like I, it was nothing that like stuck out with me at all. Uh, Marlo was barely in this episode. I don't like this girl, Courtney. Like I just... And, it's, and especially now that I know she's related to Ralph, I really don't fuck with her now. Um, I love that scene with um, Kenya, her taking her daughter out with her friend. Um, and they're kind of, you know, doing their volleyball thing, their tennis thing. I love how Kenya is just not afraid to be like I like how Kenya is in this season of her life where she's like ready for love and she's open for love and she has like you know that fun flirty energy and I love women who like even though they've been through something in their life they don't hate on other couples like I really admire when she was like I love how you and your husband are like I just love Kenya energy outside of this stuff with this whole Martell because as soon as she started talking about Sheree I was just like okay Kenya like that was so unnecessary and talk about Sheree being digmatized at this big age like bitches a lot of y'all hoes be digmatized like let's be real and low-key the way Kenya talking about this nigga off screen I'm thinking she may be digmatized but tell me what you thought about this week episode I will talk to you guys later Bye bye